Hey guys, it's David. So this is my Thursday update video on the house. So the two main things left to do are to put finish putting the siding on. I went ahead and bought replacement siding last week. But if you've not subscribed to my channel, don't know what you're waiting for, click the link down below, click the notification link. Let's go through the house and um, let's look at, the, at just the final touch-ups of what needs to be done. So this wall right here, I love. My wife hates, my contractor loves. One realtor loves it, one realtor hates it. I'm leaving it in. I figure if someone wants to come in and do this, I have been told that I could sell this for like 5,000 or something if I take all the pieces off because you can't find this wood anymore. Maybe the new buyers will want to do that. But for me, I pretty much want to just keep it in because I, I absolutely love it. I feel like it gives the house some good character. I feel like the colors complement each other fairly nicely on this so so i will definitely keep this on this i usually always do a new stove um i would have had to have put in a new hood range which i talked about in one of the new videos so um it's it's really interesting because the the duck or the way this one's designed it goes up right here and it actually works so i'm keeping the hood range in now i could get a middle one with with like a flexible one in the middle and go up on the side but again then i'm um then i'm kind of bringing this huge update in a in like a country style kitchen this and this one i just i really had to think about like what do i do in this kitchen how do i how do i go with it i think the kitchen complements itself i think it's fairly nice we did put a new light like i've talked about in the past that's that's up here underneath the sink we um we left this light on and we put a new ceiling fan up here just assemble that and put that in that that works which i've shown you in previous videos in this room since the last video the only update um the ceiling fan we had put in previously the, the floor and the the around was was complete but we had to get into the plumbing and fix it and, and vacuum it out we had some leakage so we we went ahead and went ahead and, and vacuumed this out he has sealed this up he is going to match up the paint i believe on friday is when he's going to match up the paint for that so that that right there and then if you come down here one thing i do like about this contractor is he's he's very much of a perfectionist he will not halfway do a job so he has gone through this a couple of times has put the appropriate mud and literally when i come up here um, the only thing that needs to happen is paint. I, I, when, when I feel my hand across, I, I, it feels smooth and there's like no bumps. You can't even tell where he has patched the wall. Like it looks like it's just all natural. There, there was a door here before. And what we did is we took this bedroom right here and we made a closet in this bedroom. We took the closet from the hall and literally this will increase the value of the house by 35,000 with comparables. And I've seen the comps and I've seen the comparables. So. Now what he's done is he's matched the paint and he spent some time doing that and he has matched it. Now he has talked to me because some of the paint around the house is uneven as you can see. And I, I, he's gonna go through and do some work around the house, but he will, he will paint this right here and get it all up to um, the same color as the house. He's got the grill to put on the bottom of that, so he will definitely do that. And I think the grill, I think that's it right there. So yeah, he's gonna put that in right there. He's got this set up right there and then he's done some work right here he's taken out the drawer he did some plumbing work as you saw in the closet there and he unclogged the sink and he had to actually end up taking it out and he's, he's already done some painting so his goal is to come in tomorrow now he's got a few main jobs to do number one is well the grill is going to be fairly simple number two is he's going to paint here and, and match this up Number three is he's gonna match the siding with the rest of the siding on the house is what he's gonna do. And then there's a back garage door. Now, one of the things is on my last flip that you guys saw all the numbers and everything on, that flip, it took me five months to get windows, five months. And right now I hear I hear other flippers out, it's taking months, or I hear people remodeling their house, I'm like, yeah, we're still waiting for the windows. Windows are super on back order. I'm having one problem here. And that is we have a garage here with a door that we he thought was a 32 inch and it's a 30 inch and he's gonna do something with this. He's got it blocked off right now, but he took this out because it was pretty bad. So in the back of the garage, there's two garage doors. There's this one, which is in really good shape. I, actually, he's got it on, wow. Okay, I this I didn't know. He did this too since I was last year. He's built this, not the best door, but um, this I did not even see or know. Wow. All right, I'm just as surprised with you as this. Now he's obviously gonna paint this. Now we did talk about at one point on getting a new, um, th this actually makes makes my day because we I didn't think we were gonna be able to list this without this. Um, so, so yeah, it was a real flimsy door that literally didn't even lock and kind of just went in. This house has been vacant for quite a while. So 
now um, I, it, it's a 30 inch door and I, I ordered one from Home Depot there and I found out after I ordered it that they're like uh, a six week backup. So we're talking like mid to late April. Um, it, it's it's horrible. 45 day backup is what they were is what the thing said. I've called doors companies and they get very defensive. Well, sir, we can order it and it'll get here when it gets here. You're looking at two months. So everybody is having this problem right now. But this this is exciting. I did not know. He told me he had some other projects and he has a, a storage and he was going to go look and see if he could find a door and cut and everything like that. This fits. Um, obviously, he's going to paint it. This has been done since I did my last video. He had a couple tables up here that were wedged in that was blocking this. So this is exciting. I didn't know that this was done. Um, it doesn't have to be a super, super. He did talk about securing it with maybe a double lock or something once you put one in. We were going to buy a pre-hung door and put that in there. This makes my day. I did not know that that happened. So literally, the main things is the paint and the siding and that grill, and we are ready to list this. So hey guys, I've rambled on this video a lot, and I've talked about this a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to put them on the comments. I will try to get to my comments more effectively. I will also be, um, I, do, I do check my emails occasionally, and a lot of you ask me surplus fun questions as well. And, and like, like I said, it's Thursday, and so far this week, I have $6,000 worth of deals that are out there. Um, I have another deal I haven't collected on yet. I'm, I'm waiting for a debt certificate. It's a, it's a $19,000 Florida deal. It's just under 19, and I'm getting 30% of that, so it's $5,000 that I'll have coming in. So I do have money coming in from surplus funds. It's great. Um, what, what I'm trying to do is invest and then live on as little income as possible. It's just something that that's really good um, when you can do that. Hey everyone, do me a favor. If this video was helpful, give me a like. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.